let's see the symbol as we all know the common and get is represented as this is a this is b and this is y where y is equal to a dot b now how do we obtain this a dot b we can directly use the nmos pmos and design a schematic diagram or the other way to represent this y is a dot b bar whole bar which is nan you can see this a dot b bar is nan nan plus not to prevent this whole bar now let's see the schematic of this a dot b how do we represent is a dot operation in terms of nmos and pmos if it's a dot it's a dot operation then we all know that we have to place the nmos in series and the pmos in parallel the pmos in parallel so the obtaining the obtain output will be a dot b whole bar if we implement this one if we place the nmos in series and the pmos in parallel then certainly we will obtain the output a dot b bar then we have to place another inverter that we have to place another inverter in order to obtain a final output that is a dot b the and gate now the schematic diagram The schematic diagram is done in two ways. The schematic is done in two ways. One is the schematic, normal schematic, where the NMOS and PMOS are placed in this way. Then correspondingly over here, somewhat like this. Then we have the twisted schematic as the twisted form where we will place it as like this we will twist the pmos and the nmos and place it so that this becomes very convenient for us to draw the layout we'll place all the pmos in one place and we will place all the nmos in one place this is the pmos and this is the nmos now now we will see how to draw the schematic of a two input and get 
with normal placing the nmos and pmos let's term it as schematic 1 this is our schematic 1 now a dot b means the nmos is in series and the pmos in parallel let me place the pmos first this is my vdd line this is my first pmos this is another pmos and these two pmos are in parallel next the nmos are in series this is grounded now this is my a a input this is my a input and this is my input b <coughs> let me term it this is input a and this is my input B okay now this is my PMOS 1 this is my PMOS 2 this is my NMOS 1 this is my NMOS 2 now let us name the sources and drains this is the VDD we all know that all the the sources of the PMOS are connected to VDD the sources of NMOS are connected to ground so this is source of P1 this is source of P2 this is gate of P1 this is gate of P2 this is drain of P1 and this is drain of P2. Okay. Now, so we can see that this is the common drain terminal and the output is always obtained from the drain the connection the terminal from the PMOS drain and the NMOS drain so this is drain of N1 this is gate of N1 this is the source of N1 and again we know the sources of NMOS are connected to ground so this is source of n2 this is the gate of n2 and this is the drain of n2 now the obtained output from here this is the output terminal since this is one drain this is drain of nmos this is drain terminal of pmos so the obtained output will be a dot b bar the obtained output is the obtained output is a dot b bar okay now in order to obtain a dot b we have to place an inverter over here
now this is the vdd line let me make this common vdd for the inverter and the nand gate so place the pmos this is the nmos okay we are drawing the inverter now this is connected to ground the way we had the common vdd we can also place a common ground line also now we have to connect the output to this output will act as input to this inverter okay now this is our p3 and this is our nmos 3 now we will place we will write the source and drain terminals why we need to mention the source and drain terminals so that it is very convenient for you to draw the layout correspondingly now this is the source terminal of p3 this is the gate of p3 and this is the drain terminal of p3 this is again the output is obtain from the uh, from the point of point of connection of drain of pmos and drain of nmos so this is the terminal this is drain of n3 gate of n3 and source of n3 now this is the output terminal so the obtained output is a dot b bar whole bar that is equal to a dot b this is our two input and gate so this is our two input and gate now can you just directly draw the layout from this kind of schematic yes we can draw but it will be very it will be very unorganized so we can draw the twisted form of diagram for this and gate So now this is our this is our NAND this is our NOT so this NAND and NOT will give to to input N okay now now let's see the twisted diagram of a two input and gate which is very convenient in order to draw the layout so let us give the heading schematic two this is nothing difficult and it is nothing new we just need to twist the the nmos and pmos okay now in order to draw these twisted diagram we have to keep in mind 
all the NMOS are have to be placed at one side in this way all the NMOS are to be placed like this is the PMOS okay and this is the all the NMOS all the PMOS present and all the and MOS, all PMOS on one side, all and MOS on one side. This is PMOS one, PMOS two. Similarly, we have to place. And most one and and most two. Okay. Another we have the inverter part. So one P MOS and should be just below this one just below the PMOS so this is my PMOS 1 PMOS 2 and MOS 1 and and MOS 2 this is P3 and this is N3 so now just mention the source and the drains just the source and the drains so that it's convenient for you to convert this schematic to your layout so you can see this is the gate so these two are the gate so this is gate this is gate similarly over here gate terminals next the PMOS were in parallel and the sources were connected to VDD so this is source this is source the common drain the common drain was connected to the drain of first NMOS we can say the okay let me write this is n okay this is n1 this is n2 so this was connected to one of the one of the n was so this is the drain this is the drain terminal and this is the source this is the drain this is again the source similarly source drain this is the drain this is the source now we can connect This gate to this gate. Gate to gate. Then the two sources were shorted. So short these two sources. Connect. And then this is connected to VDD. This source is also connected to VDD. Okay. Similarly, the common drain is connected to the drain.
now these two drains are also shorted and this is connected to ground similarly this source is also connected to ground now this is the output terminal which is this is our A input A this is input B the output obtained will be A dot B bar this output will act as the input to the inverter and the output will be obtained from here which is represented as Y A dot B bar whole bar that is equal to A dot B and okay this is the twisted diagram now we have to convert this to exactly we have to convert this to the layout form this is the twisted form okay now I will convert this to the corresponding layout. How will you draw the layout? Now you have to keep in mind let's go to the previous page we have to keep in mind to place all the source drain with metal layer and the gate with polysilicon layer. We all we all we all know about this, and then we have to place the corresponding contacts. Okay, now let's draw the layout from the twisted form. Layout of twisted form. We have to be twisted form. Okay. How will you draw the layout? We have to first make the okay. So first for the PMOS you have to keep in mind we use the P diffusion layer and in order to place the N substrate we have the N well for PMOS there is N well so this is the N well of the land portion and this is the N well for the inverter. Now the N well is black in color. This is the N well, and the P diffusion is brown in color. P diffusion layer is placed now 
now similarly the pure diffusion layer for the inverter p diffusion okay now this is our pmos now in order to place the nmos in order to draw the layer the layers for nmos it's green in color the n diffusion layer is green in color Now this is the end diffusion layer. Now we have to first connect the source of the source of both the PMOS to VDD. So this is my source part, this is my source part, this is the common drain part, this is the gate, this is the gate. This is the common drain means drain for both. So you can see source, gate, drain, source, gate, drain. So this is one PMOS. So the sources are connected to VDD. So how it is connected? It is connected by the metal. This is what metal layer. We can directly short it. Okay. Now, after this, on connection with the VDD, this is VDD, we can say this P diffusion layer, above the P diffusion layer, we have placed the metal layer. So how will they come in contact? We have to place a metal contact. So placed a metal contact. Here also metal contact. Now we know the VDD. This is similarly the so let us first mention all the sources and drains. This is the source, this is the drain, this is the gate, this is the drain, gate, and source. Similarly, we have the source, gate, drain, drain and source at one terminal, then gate and the drain terminal. Okay. Now, let's finish this part. Now, the source of this PMOS has to be connected to the metal layer
okay similarly let's extend this we know the source of the inverter is also connected to ground let's extend this okay now this is the ground similarly the source is connected here now let's place the contact similarly a contact over here and a contact over here okay now the two gate the gates have to be shorted the gates are shorted by placing a poly layer Okay, now these are the two drains, and again, the two poly. Similarly, This is poly layer. Now, let's name it. This is input A, and this is input B. This is the input of the inverter. Now we have to place the output of the NAND part. So the output of the NAND part is placed with metal layer. So the common drain. is connected to the drain of the pmos okay now this is the output part these two are also connected this is the output part this is ash metal okay now again we have to place a contact so certainly there is a question what kind of contacts are placed this is a n substrate contact and these are the p substrate contacts
these contacts are This is the P diffusion contact. And this is the N diffusion contact. Now Similarly, some more contacts are placed over here. In the VDD and ground. This is the P substrate contact similarly this one is the N substrate contact. Okay, now you can see the output of the NAND is this. This is A dot B bar. This has to be connected to the input. Now certainly there will be an overlapping. This is the overlapping portion. How will this poly and metal be in contact? We know we cannot link inter, inter layers. So we have to place a contact. It's a poly contact and it's usually purple in color. So let me This is the poly contact. This is the poly contact, and the obtained output is this Y. Now, this is the layout of the twisted form of this two input and gate. Similarly, we can draw the layout directly from the normal form of schematic. Now we will see layout from the normal schematic that is not in the twisted form. Now This is going to be a very big diagram, so let me clear this and we'll start from the beginning. We have two NMOS.
so draw to anvil then to be division so this is to be most okay Similarly, this is also connected to VDD. Let me place the contacts. Okay. Now, we have to create the PMOS. We make a PMOS since the two, uh, the NMOS, this is the NMOS, the two NMOS will be in series. So I have taken only one and since the two PMOS were in parallel, so I have taken two separate. Now, remember this is our PMOS one, this is our PMOS two. Then. Okay, before that, let's make the inputs and the outputs. So there will be two inputs here. This is input one. And this is input two. So we we'll short this. We we'll short this. Okay. Now the two inputs are shorted. Let's say this is B and this is A. Okay, the two inputs are shorter now. Now, we have to short these two drain and this is the drain. This is the drain terminal. This is the drain terminal. This is the drain. This is source, 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 drain, source. These are the gates. Okay, now we have to short these three drains. So let's short it. Okay, place two contacts. And again, we have to short. these two okay now we have to make an inverter
and this is n well this is p diffusion okay this is the n diffusion so similarly this is now this is connected to vdd and this is connected to ground so these two sources are connected to ground This is ground, this is one contact, this is another contact. Okay, and these two are shorted. Since these two are the drain terminals, so this is the output now this is the common drain that has to be connected to has to be connected to the input so I need to place a contact so here there will be a contact so the contact will be certainly purple in color so there will be a contact over here now this is the whole layout of the normal form of the AND gate so we can label it this is the metal layer you can see this exactly represents like I can show you here we had the PMOS in parallel which was connected to VDD this PMOS is this one P1 this PMOS is this P2 okay now it was connected to two NMOS then they were shorted and this was the common output as these two are shorted common output this is given to ground ground from here vdd this is ground you can see exactly this is presented with got a contact same VVD common VDD then this is the common ground this is the source this is the gate this is the drain this is the drain gate and source all the sources are connected to VDD 
the earth sources of the NMOS are connected to ground. You can see exactly this schematic is presented in the layout.